Hey, so <sighs> don't mind this. This is I'm on my way to work. Um, so for the do magic challenge, we were doing invocations. So what I was doing for my evocations, where's on please hold my hand. I was about to say, miss some cards. We were doing evocations. And to blend in my death working, because as you know, that is just a long process I'm going through trying to figure out which stuff is good. Um, I'm going a little bit further with the death um, focus. So I'm using the demonic death uh, DT cards that I got from, that, um, was created by S. Conway. Um, I got them from Game Crafter. They still have them up there. And what I do is I'm doing these for an invocation. So what I do is I just pick a card, I do a silent invocation to it, and I carry it around with me. I keep it in my phone case um, with me all day. Um, if I'm at work, if I'm at home, I just leave it out on my computer because I'm always around there. And then bed at night, I place the card underneath my pillow and then let the dreaming begin. So I went ahead and did that. So, so far, these are all that I've done. I've done for... 8, 12, I've done 16, so I'm on day 17, huh, and today's the 17th, so that's funny, so what I'm doing is I'm recording these, but they're not going to go up until all of them are done, well, that's a lie, so I'm going to record them, I'm going to have everything set, and then in November is when you're going to start getting a video a day of um, what I'm doing for my invocation death working, so for today's card, is Hades. So I pulled his card. I pulled his card. Or how about he pulled my card. So carrying these cards with me, um, I can say so far up until the 17th day today that it really hasn't affected my attitude that much. Um, I'm either a bitch. Um, I'm either very irritated or I'm trying to be nice and not cuss out any nurses because them hoes begin on my nerves. Um, so I just kind of chill and relax, um, but I do carry the cards, the cards are with me all the time, so like I said, this one was Hades, and from the dream I had with Hades, his message was embracing love is the ultimate, no, embracing love is the ultimate death, and what is meant by that is, is things have just been going along, down the hill in my life, which is actually good, um, in order for me to embrace the love that I had, it really is a death because it's re I'm realizing that it was meant to end the way it was. So, yeah, I, I am single because shit happens. I was with my soulmate, not my twin flame. Big difference. My soulmate gave me everything that I needed. Everything that I didn't, that I didn't think I needed, but apparently the guy was like, nah, bitch, you need this shit. So... I had to go ahead and go through all the bullshit, all the trials and tribulations, all the rebirth, all the all the unnecessary bullshit that I think I was good over. No, apparently the guys, you know, I'm hard-headed, so I had to be taught even deeper lessons. So that love does let me embrace everything that I officially let go in my life. So that has been the ultimate death. So now... um it's uh, more or less another rebirth regeneration, which seems to be a thing in my life. I'm a Scorpio anyway, so you already know how it is. I mean, shit is. It happens, it happens. But that was an interesting pull and dream for my first card. Um, some of these dreams, I'll, I'll go through one of them uh, when a card comes up, or serious as messages. Some of them I don't remember because they're dreams. And then some were messages where I still remember it. 12 days later, I can clearly recall it, and it's like, holy shit, so, <sighs> that's that one, but that'll come up in a few days, but so far, it was Hades, and his message to me was embracing the love is the ultimate death that I can receive, so, it was a good card for me, it was a good dream, and it was a good day of carrying him, so, see y'all next time.